<laughs> hey, good people, and welcome to the cop. Welcome to. Uh, okay, we already know how this is starting off. Welcome to the pop culture green room. This is your host, Kimberly Bryant. <laughs> and this is Blair Bryant. And we've got our special guest today with us. We've got Amber, who goes by Gossip Class. Welcome, Amber. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I am super excited today. So we are going to get into some celebrity news, celebrity gossip, and a little bit of Real Hostiles of Beverly Hills to start off with. And of course, this week we had the, was it Monday or was it Sunday that we had the Golden Globes? Sunday, Golden Globes last week, the Emmys were this past Sunday. Emmys were, okay. I don't know why I was getting them so confused. That's why. Because they were just like so piled up on each season. other. So I was... Mm hmm Yeah. Oh, yeah. Th that's what it was. But um, did any of y'all get to sit down and watch them? I did not. I meant to. I, I watched the Golden Globe in its entirety. Me but <laughs> the, um, the Emmys, I, think, I don't know. I think this is the kind of weekend it was. They just kind of went right past me. So I didn't keep up with them like I was hoping to, unfortunately. Um, right. Which, like, you know, I'm like up for that because I'm, I'm usually pretty up on that. Especially being that I kind of started getting into watching movies again. <laughs> and I've been enjoying that. The, the yeah. more seasons have been pretty stacked here. Right. See, and that's kind of what happened with me, too. Like, I yeah, forgot I didn't get to watch about them either. You didn't get to watch them either? Yeah. And I think what happened is just like, I, th I think there's just too many award shows that kind of came like all into one. I've mostly paid attention to like the fashion, like the clothes and everything. And then I was all trying to figure out what was being said by uh, <laughs> by Kelly Teller to <laughs> in a conversation with Taylor Swift and um, Selena Gomez. I was so entrenched in that, that I pretty much forgot what was going on and that whole thing. And But um, I did see, so like for the, Emmys, um, let's see here. It was like I know that the um Nisi Nash had finally won, so that was pretty awesome, and I was excited. Yeah. She went for her role in Dahmer. I don't know if y'all saw Dahmer. Mm -hmm. It was very very dark. I don't think I'll see it again, but it was actually I thought it was really well done. She did great. She did a great job in that, so I, I thought that was well deserved. Did you see Dahmer? I heard it was chance, dark. Amber? Dark. I didn't see it. Yeah, I watched it. I thought it was an interesting it. movie. Mm -hmm. It was, huh? It was. It was interesting. It was very dark. It was. It was definitely like one of those mm -hmm. where I was just kind of like, okay, yeah, that's kind of that's a little wild. Um, but it was. Um, yeah, it was. It was very. It was. It was well done. But like I said, I, I probably won't watch it again. But she did, definitely did deserve uh, the win for that for that role. So that was interesting. And um, but um, yeah, I wish I did get to see it though. But. What else is going on in celebrity news? I saw, oh yeah, I saw Madonna. Madonna's actually being sued. I cannot say I didn't see that coming. Did y'all hear about that? She's being sued by two concert goers because her show started two hours late. And then, yeah. I'm like, but people, mm -hmm. like, people sue for everything these days, like any and everything. But it's like, when you really look at it, I, I think agree. at first it was rumored that the the target i think it was almost rumored that i think the concert started i think later than that like about closer to like three like three or four hours later than two hours but then it, it kind of like made sense when they said like what had happened and like some of the technical difficulties and all but it's just like come on but for saying that she is how old is she now she's in her 60s i know but for saying that she's going at full force right. just like performing the way she is it's like That's i mean you got to give it to her <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah, oh yeah it's just she's i mean you've got to give it to her though she keeps going and going i was worried about it when that time she got really sick because i didn't know like with her health issues it's like i didn't know like what is she gonna come out of it like how is she gonna do but she kept pushing herself that's what worried me but and i think she's got does she have a, doesn't she have a really young boyfriend too or is it just share she did for a while i don't know if they're still together i believe or she does yeah she probably still does. They could very well be together. I think he's like in his mid to yeah, late 20s, might, something like yeah. that. He's young. <laughs> yeah, I knew that. I remember she was dating a guy that was like super young. Yeah, that's how I couldn't remember, remember if they were still together or not. But that's, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's been very interesting and all. But, um, and then I also saw too that, of course, 
Kim Kardashian, the girl, she is, she's gold. Everything she, that family touches, like, that's, I think, why I love her and Taylor Swift so much, especially Taylor Swift, for saying I'm not of, I wasn't a fan of her music, because it just was never my vibe. I became a huge fan of the person, of who she is, mm-hmm. and, like, all that she's done, like, the girl's just, like, I mean, she everything she touches pretty much turns into gold. Kim, I would say, this pretty much the same thing, almost, but or is it more of everything that Chris Jenner touches comes um turns into gold? I'm still trying to figure that part out. Is this is it more of you a, know? Of it's a, is it more because of Chris? The only thing I can that's my, my recollection that Chris Jenner has touched that hasn't turned into gold was her own talk show. Such a, you're right. You know what? That's so true. Did you ever watch her talk show, Amber, when she oh. had it for a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. No, me too. I completely forgot about it until Blair had just mentioned it. Yeah. She sure well, did. She had her own talk show for. I think only for like one and season, so but what true. didn't help was that it was syndicated only in certain areas. So a lot of people didn't get to watch it anyway. Oh, was it? I didn't know that. Oh, that's yeah, being captured where we it. live. Yes. Oh, and I think that's okay. a part of reason that didn't help. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense then. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was wondering about that because I remember it's like it was there one minute and then gone the next. But I really wasn't surprised because usually a lot of daytime talk shows is there it's it's hard for them to really kind of take off, I've noticed. But that that makes sense though. I didn't realize that. Huh. Okay, that that makes a big difference. A lot of differences <laughs> there though. But and I saw I love that she's got Lana Del Rey doing her Valentine's Day um campaign for skims. Skims. I mean, think about it. Who could be and she's like I love um, Lana Del Rey. She's like so different and unique. She's like, oh, what's that? As I didn't see but, uh, that, yeah, Lana, yeah, Lana. Lana Del Rey doing her skims. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, if you go online and check it out. It. Um, I know, I think it was, who did it? Um, it was, I think Variety Magazine did a, um, an article about it. But yeah, she's, um, her pictures look good. It's it's, it's definitely, definitely uh, it gives off a whole Londa uh, Del Rey vibe. But um, no, it's really cool. She says she's been a fan of the, of Skims for like a long time and all. So it's, it's really neat. It's, it's definitely different from her other campaigns, but I like it. It just shows like the versatility of it. So that's been pretty cool. And then. Um, oh, and did y'all hear about how Doja Cat's brother, they had filed a res- her mom filed a restraining order against him, but the courts are saying that Doja needs to I file did. a separate one. Mm-hmm. I don't know, that's like so sad. That's like I horrible. That. You know, like, yeah. Personally, yeah, it's, um, to me, it's, it's, it's very jarring, but also it's like upsetting because of the fact that um my own best friend just kind of like you know without getting too much into it um like it kind of shows what can happen if you don't like you know i'll just say her mom pop her mom i'm sure did the right thing and from what i heard about what her brother has done that oh she absolutely he knocked her te- um barely had his teeth out yes like and he, like i think he punched her or something like that and just kind of like you know what people can do even if it's your own siblings you have to like say something or report them no matter yeah. what because yeah because i mean like just kind of give what happened with my own best friend you know with her brother that it's um yeah that's something that i'll take that kind of thing seriously you know because you know like i'm glad that there's a cat's mom's taking the right precautions in having restrained order against him but she needs to get one against her uh brother as well i believe because that can right. go from bad to worst like really fast and yes and that's uh, that really uh, that's like one of the first things i thought about when i heard about that and it's just so upsetting and i'm hoping oh, I'm that sure. they can stay as far away from it as they can and that they yeah definitely and that he actually, uh, and that he actually obeys the order which i don't get the impression that he would because he sounds a bit unhinged yeah that's the scary part about but, it but no it's like you're right unfortunately you know from yeah, no, it is. It is. It's a very sad situation. Like you said, you know, from firsthand experience, because you went through something I don't ever want to go through. I'm not going to say what it was because you didn't say what yeah. happened. But anyway, um, it was just, it, yeah, that that was bad. But like, I'm glad that they are taking the proper steps and everything. But it's just so it's so wild. It's like you see that people become famous and 
they'll like they run into the same problems that other people normal people have and it's oh. just it's funny like money and fame they they don't stop things you know they don't stop violence they don't stop bullets they don't stop um stalking a lot of things it doesn't stop but you know that was pretty scary pretty pretty scary and everything but oh geez but um other news that i saw the book oh, i saw kylie kylie's rocking a pink hair again kylie jenner so she's back it looks like she's back yeah it looks like there's kylie that song. <clears throat> that's what people are saying yeah, yeah I, like I, like I like it i like it i think i'm I mean, glad it, it's, it's interesting better than the green <laughs> Mm, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah I wasn't a fan of the green either. I wasn't really a fan of it. No, she, she, yeah, I think she pulled the green off. I think she pulled it off, but I, I wasn't a fan of it. I didn't like it. I do like the pink. Do y'all think it has do y'all think that her bringing it back has something to do with Timothy Chalamet with her dating him? Do y'all think so? I think so. I do, because it's like you think so? Like, well, me, think, oh, me, yeah. Thinking back to the women that he's attracted to, because a lot of people don't realize. I think that they were kind of thinking that yeah. you know that look at him as a like art house, you know, dream, you know, man, pixie dream boy, <laughs> and like, but and it's like, and, and they, I think they imagine him being with a girl who's like that too. But he's yeah, always yeah. into like he's always been to like the uh, Instagram baddie types. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I think it's Kylie kind of leaning back, and that was that that was the one she was really in that era, like with the whole King Kylie era uh -huh. with that, and so I think that. It'll make him happier because <laughs> I feel like she's been yeah. kind of a bit more demure as of late. She's been with him. It to me, it just doesn't <laughs> really feel that authentic. It does. This feels more like her. And he's, it's, and... it's funny that. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. You know, it's funny that you say that and that you think that because I feel I don't know how you, how you feel, Amber, but to me, the more I like from thinking back to watching life with Kylie because I feel like that's where we got to know her the most which um she's like a lot more like down to earth and stuff than I thought she was like and and, and it really surprised me like yeah. watching her because I was like oh wow she like really is kind of like normal in a way like the, the things that she was like into and, and that, that she would mostly not, not do like a whole lot but um she would have to do things to keep up like public appearances and everything but like me just seeing who she is and the kind of quirky person that she actually is to the core now, her and Timothy make more sense to me than her and Travis did. Yeah. If that makes sense. I, can I think that. so. Because she's got a lot more personality than what she shows and puts on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I feel like I feel like he brings out more of that yeah, and um, energy she with her. wearing less makeup, too. Yeah, you, know, you noticed that. Do you too? notice I that? I did notice that, that. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. kind of a little more understanding. But I'm like, if she's, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. I'm like, if she's happy, I'm happy for her. So that's that's good there. But I like seeing that. I feel like the real her is like starting to emerge because I feel like when she was with yeah. Travis Scott, I feel like that was more of like her trying to like kind of go along the lines of like Kim, you know, and Chloe, like her sisters, you know. I feel like she was trying to like mm -hmm. almost not not really coming into her her own so much, but almost following their lead, if that makes any sense. That's kind of like right. the, the impression I was kind of getting. Right. Mm -hmm. And it and seems seeing, like she's but, not afraid to be herself yeah. now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely so. Oh, yeah. Amber, you have any other topics, any new stuff that you saw that, that caught your attention? Um. Did y'all see about the Scott Peterson thing? yes and I'm, I'm so glad you brought that up yeah so that is that's wild so now it looks like the innocence project is interested in reopening not, not like they're pushing to get it his an appeal is that right they're trying to get a, his, his a case his case appealed i believe yeah to try to go yeah go that. back to the child yeah yeah and, they, and it's they, okay go ahead and I, I think did it <laughs> I said, I think he definitely did, I think it, he did but it, yeah. it's interesting that they're open. Oh, mm -hmm. Right, exactly. That is and then they, case, like, like, never filmed No matter did. what. Yeah, it's like, that's the thing. And that's, I, I honestly believe that he did it. Like, that's the one thing that, like, I think no matter what. And I've, like, listened to um, Reality, Reality Life with Kate Casey. I went and listened back to an episode that she had on, um, she had a psychic on there back in 2017. I listened to that episode and then like even her recent one and just some other 
uh, news stories and everything I've been looking at. But even with their, the circumstantial evidence that they're finding now, the things that are coming out that that they were like inadmissible in court, it's like even with that all put together, I still think he did it. I still think he did not. Now it is oh, yeah. possible because while things do happen, it could very well be possible that it was a coincidence that he just happened to be in the same uh, lake or whatever that her body washes up on, which I really don't think so. And then they had the robbery or whatever across the street. Now they're trying to say that the, the guys who committed the robbery actually had abducted and killed her. So that's what they're theories but i don't know there's just too many things about scott peterson <laughs> and then what they found in his possession yeah. is just it, it, it's like i think yeah he's a shitty dude but not only is he a shitty dude but he i think he's a killer too so it's it, 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 there was just too much he wasn't he didn't seem like he was scared and frantic when they were looking for her and i'm sorry but he ran away he was trying to run to mexico or didn't he cross i think he he almost crossed the border and he like bleached his hair and had all this it's like, come on. Yeah, I feel like some people, I think they're, they're trying to, yeah, yeah. I feel like they're just trying to reach and just to find something. But but you can almost do that, really, when you think about it with almost every case. You can, and that's, I guess, why people go to trial, because people can be proven guilty or not guilty. But I, my mind will, that, that's something that my mind, I think, will never change on. I, I think he did it. And I think he's guilty. And he needs to, I think he needs to stay locked up. That is my. Opinion. I hope he doesn't get a new trial. And oh, sorry, I um, I hope he doesn't get a new trial. And I hope that if he does get one, that he's found guilty again. Just because I mean, like, kind of, mm-hmm. again, kind of, kind of, sort of circling back to the previous story with my friend and her situation that happened with her. That I've seen, you know, like firsthand that where someone looks like they have like a good bit of evidence against them, and it's the case is either dismissed or the person who the perpetrator gets off and it's like i mean i, I don't wish that on anybody and i really don't want her family have to get yeah. this again yeah just blair just briefly just because I, I feel like people are gonna like that are listening because it seems like there's like yeah, I, mean, that's, yeah I don't mind talking about it fine. yeah just yeah just briefly, yeah just, no it's fine it, but yeah like, explain what happened yeah you don't have to go to too, too yeah, like, like specific best, details but it's kind of like yeah yes yeah. you know, so yeah, it's like your best friend went missing like a couple by about a about a day or two a few years ago like right before the pandemic happened um, right before everybody shut down for quarantine and she was found uh shot to death in a trunk of her car and it was one of her own siblings who did it and they found her sibling like on a run from the cops uh out of state the like the day of her funeral about a week later and her family worked with the da's office to get the case stopped against him and yeah oh wow yeah, so it's, that was yeah, and horrible. So that's that's by that's kind of problem. Think about the whole thing with Deja Cat and, and like like Kim said, it made sense for me to just to kind of explain it because it was a situation where like she apparently lived in fear of him, and not mm-hmm. many people really knew this, and we kind of pieced it together because she didn't really say anything because I think she didn't want to worry about because that was a personality, and and it's like we wish she would have because there were changes in her behavior and that she just seemed like off and just like something wasn't right and that she was in fear of him obviously and in fear and not wanting to go home because she lived with him and her mom and she wasn't fear she didn't want to go home like obviously whenever like unless her mom was there so the only thing i could think is that he was probably threatening her or something but that or he he probably tried it before and maybe he wasn't successful the first time that's the only thing i could figure but a lot of that's still like a shot of mystery around it but it's like, and I'm mm-hmm. just kind of hoping that's what kind of made me think about the whole Casey P- Lacey Peterson thing, also, is that like I don't want to see a situation where he gets off scot free because that's kind of like what happened in a sense with my friend. Because, right, um, it's like for whatever reason, I guess say it, uh, I mean, it was, a, it was a, like a, a, a quite a few things that happened, but I also don't feel like that it was investigated properly enough, in my opinion. Because I feel like that no, there, it seemed so like there was clear enough evidence that he did it, and there was even surveillance footage of you know him with her car and everything, and and when he dropped it off and drove off and walked away from it, and still he still got away with it, and it's been yeah, it blows my mind, but I blame that on the yeah. I definitely blame that on the the DA in New Orleans, so 
that's that that's my opinion on that. But yeah, no, it, it makes sense. It's you definitely have a, like a valid point there. So it's just it's so wild though. I'm like can he possibly go back on trial for this whole murder? And it's just, it's crazy to me that like, it, I can't believe it was that long ago. It's been since 2002. It's, it's so wild. Um, I can't believe that's been, it's been that, that many years now, but. That's insane. You know, that's, I know. That's, that's, like it didn't happen long ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So, so that's, that I know we'll is going on. on I think, yeah, I believe so. I think you're right. I think it was the yeah, 2005 you went on trial, but it's just, it's so about crazy. Right. It's yeah, like time it's flies by. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Time flies by. Like so much stuff happens. It's like, it's, oh gosh, it's nuts. It's, it, it is insane. And I know, um, and okay, I'm, I'm going to go back to Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey because their relationship just fascinates me because I you literally <laughs> see the universe just aligning for them to, like, for everything to work out in their favor and to come together the way it did that. But I actually found out that it was actually mm -hmm. her cousin set them up. It was her, it was like her, he's like her, really? her second cousin set them up. I think he was a second or third cousin. I think his second cousin that she's close to that actually set them up and he was he's friends with travis kelsey and that's how that whole thing came about so it was I actually no fascinating i actually like that i liked hearing that as opposed to it wasn't like her publicist and his publicist you know yeah exactly. working out out and they, yeah I, I actually liked hearing that 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 was really interesting i was like that's so cool because i was really curious about that but i think she's secretly engaged i think they're secretly engaged but they're going to wait to announce it that's what I, I think. Doubt it. Doubt it. Mm -hmm. That that is that is my theory on that. But yeah, it's so funny. Gonna it's gonna get married. Gonna be... <laughs> oh yeah, I think so. I think they're gonna get married, have babies. Because I mean, she's accomplished so much. He's, I mean, he's not retiring out of the NFL yet. His Jason's retiring, but um, I feel that she's accomplished so much. And I mean, she they're both what thirty four years old. I think. I think it's what's, what's going to happen. They're going to get married and start a family and all that. So I'm happy for them. That's good. They that. give they 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 give me hope. Yeah. Oh my gosh, like it's, that's that's. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I'm curious. This, okay, so um, which that's going to let me. And speaking of relationships, I am ready to segue into Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. So I like. Just watching the chemistry between Mauricio and Kyle on film, it's like, I mean, they're both, they both seem to be just checked out of the relationship. I agree. Mm -hmm. They are, it's it's pretty awkward. It's yeah, kind of like, yes, it's they kind don't of, like it's, each other it anymore. It's pretty <laughs> jarring watching them. Mm -hmm. like, don't yeah. you think so? It's just, yeah, it's hard to watch, which is sad because it's like, I'm, I love them together, you know, for the longest time. And... Uh huh. Yeah, it just it blows my mind. It's um, what was her name again? The um, du Allison Dubois, the sidekick. Oh she, yes, I forgot was, about that. Wasn't it season? Wasn't it season one that she did that reading and she said she had no. her little electronic cigarette and she's like puffing and she was, and she basically <laughs> predicted the whole thing and she that and and you see it playing out and it's so eerie and I'm like oh yeah. my gosh like I believe in sidekicks to begin with but that was just like. It's it's wild. I wonder. I wonder if she ever thought that years later it would come to fruition. I'm sure she already knew it was going to. I think she just kind of left it alone, and right. then all of a sudden, yeah, it's I'm like, pretty sure she probably knew. Happens. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That that's what I'm thinking. But it's just it's it's so wild because that's that's Crazy. exactly what happened. It's like basically the kids grew up and then they don't really have much in in common, and it's like you could tell that. He's not giving her everything that she wants and she needs. So it's just, it's, it's fascinating to me, but mm -hmm. yeah, like that's been sad, but, um, and, um, and, but yeah, I definitely, I there's no way her and Morgan are not together. Mm -hmm. But, um, Morgan, I think she and Morgan are definitely together. There's, I think so, too. Like yeah. there's. Yeah, there's no other way to put it. it. It's it's like, and I mean, it's that's fine or whatever. But it's it's kind of like, I don't know if they're hiding it to hide it because they just weren't ready. But then I look at all these things that were going on, plus the music video, and it's like, <laughs> I think I don't know if they were just waiting for a storyline. I, I have no idea. I don't I don't know. But it's just it's interesting because I've never seen 
two best friends or close friends like act like they're in like a full full on relationship. <laughs> it's just it's yeah, it's true. I don't know. Feeding it is other interesting. Can't <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's it's. And then how um, but what, what was interesting was like Gar was it Garcelle who noticed the rings at first? I would have never noticed that. I think it was Garcelle yeah. who noticed mm -hmm. the rings. And then how they I would have noticed that had, like, the, yeah, like the same rings. Um, and then how she then um, Kyle wasn't wearing her um, I guess engagement ring from Mauricio or whatever, and she was wearing another ring that looks identical to the one that Morgan wears, and it's it, it's. There's just so much. There's so many things there. And I'm also curious. I'm like, because PK and Dorita heard, are they still like supposedly separated? I haven't heard anything about that lately, but it's just, but I wouldn't doubt PK it. And Dorita. That, yes. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I heard that they were that they were um separated, that they weren't like living together. And I want to say, was it it was one of these podcasts I was listening to, and they were and it, they were talking about it and discussing it. But that, I think that for a minute they've kind of been like living separately, and I think a lot of it, a lot of it could have to do with could deal with the. Um, it might have to do with the finances and the lawsuit. I have no idea, but that's when I had noticed. It. I was like, oh man, I was like, that was a bad lawsuit because I forgot that house they lived in before was a lot bigger than the one that they are in now. And then I noticed that they said the reach like she's cut back on like costs glam things of that nature and then the whole um the robbery thing it's still a little suspect to me but this is why yeah. i feel like if yeah. anything i feel like she didn't have anything to do with it and was unaware of it but honestly i could see it doesn't surprise me and i could actually see pk like um having some kind of knowledge or involvement with setting that up as an insurance uh scam i could i, I could i could kind of I see that see i don't know about y'all I, I he just gives yeah, me those vibes mm -hmm. and then what was the whole thing wasn't was there something else store, like too that was store? suspect in that time yeah there was it was the the grocery store she was shopping and she said she had it was in like ten thousand dollars i think in oh, cash yes. in her purse yeah. Mm -hmm. and it was stolen and everyone's like what's she doing oh, ten thousand dollars worth of cash in her purse but me personally because years ago i worked at a bank for a little bit and that didn't surprise me i noticed a lot of people especially a lot of wealthy people they would they would go to the bank and get out lots of cash um especially during the holidays like for christmas they, that's what they would use for um for gifts like to hand out as gifts so it didn't really surprise me i didn't find it that bad that far-fetched that she had that amount of cash on her like around christmas in her possession and i wasn't that surprised by it but it was just the way it was kind of like <clears throat> i don't know just the way it's just kind of like cases in a store and everything people were like was a setup or what is it i, I don't know I don't know. That whole thing like remains it's a mystery. Weird but... to like walk away from your basket now. if you have, if you know in your purse you have that kind of cash in there, you know. Hey, that, like that's, that, that's the thing. The store like Target, they have a lot of security cameras and good security cameras. Mm -hmm. Somebody should have caught something. Yeah, and it was one of those. It was like one of those fancy gr grocery stores. I think she was in. Like I don't I think, think it was. It was Target, um, she said. What's it? Is it? Oh wait, what? I feel like it was Target. Oh, was it Target? I'm almost positive oh, she said it was know. Target. I, I could be wrong. I'm almost positive it was Target. Oh, maybe, maybe it was. I, it, it could have very well been. I don't know why I was thinking it was like a store. Like, what is it that store they all go to? Is it Air? Is what's it Air called? Airwan. Airwan. Yeah, I, Air I was One? thinking maybe it was. Yeah, it was like Air One. One of those, or something like it. Yeah. Which that's a store I'm, I really want yeah, to go into. <laughs> the next time I go to LA, I want to go scope it out and go check it out. <laughs> I'm curious about it, but it's been interesting. And then, of course, like I don't know about y'all, but I am so tired of esoph <laughs> the esoph esophaguses, and I've never been oh, so God. drained about talking about a body, uh, a, um, a body part. <laughs> <It's> just <laughs> Anne Marie. Anne Marie, I think she needs to go. <laughs> 
I think she was reaching way too hard. And I don't know if she was doing it for storyline mm -hmm. purposes, but I, I I don't know. But it's kind of embarrassing when the um, it's when the American <laughs> yeah. uh, it's what is it? That's the American Society of uh, Anesthesiologists. I think that's what it's called. When they made a statement on their um. <laughs> Instagram page because at first I was doing some digging to see if it was like actually legit if it was or if it was one of those things that somebody had gone and made um a page to kind of like make it look like it's official but it looks like it actually is a real thing after I looked at it it's looked like they had some posts from like a while back so and they're even clapping back at her but that's <laughs> I'm like oh lord it's like it's just it's it's a mess and I, I feel bad for Sutton because it's like good googly moogly but i did like that tiffany moon that used to be on dallas real house of dallas that spoke it up and said something and then nicole from miami made mm. something made mention of it and so it's kind of like girls sit down but do y'all think she'll be back next season i don't think so oh i don't think so now so. she already crashed and burned no <laughs> and her husband was accused of um uh, sexually assaulting somebody that part really? he was yeah. that's right yeah, mm -hmm. she came forward years later and she said that he, yeah, he sexually assaulted her. And honestly, it's like I'm one of those people. I always like, I am number one because I do, I do support. I'm, I'm like one of those people. I'm like women, so I, women support women. I'm one of those people. Um, I do believe the victim. Um, but however, it's like to me, like his true colors came to light when she started saying how her husband told her that she's an eight. Okay, if he was married yeah. and my husband told me that I was an eight or not to be below a 10, okay, that marriage wouldn't even be happening because I'm going to be with someone who thinks the world of None. me, who thinks I am the end all, the be all, yeah, the most exactly. beautiful thing on that walks the, the face That's of the planet. Well. And he, he told her that that was horrible. He told her her body was a nine, but everything else about her was an eight. And I'm like, I just, I don't know. I feel like she was reaching. She's reaching for something. I feel like she's reaching for validation. And I think a lot of it's probably because of her husband and his character. So that's why it's like, I definitely believe 100% what happened. And it's um, quite interesting. So I'm wondering if if that things are being, I'm sure law enforcement's looking into that. That's the one thing I've noticed about reality TV, that when things happen and people come on reality TV, law enforcement doesn't exactly sit back. They actually, <laughs> they do their work and they dig in and look at, at everything. Look what happened with, with Jin Shaw, but... But they've actually, I think, been on a gin shot, I think, since before she was on Real Housewives. My understanding. I could be wrong, though, but I think they were on her before that, before she was on there. But it's like, oh, my gosh. But, yeah, I think she's going to be like Diane Jenkins, one and done, because that didn't, that she didn't. <laughs> that didn't go go too well. Oh, not, not well It's like so much on a parachute and forgetting to pull the strap. <laughs> let the uh, mm -hmm. parachute out yeah to pull the cord yeah <laughs> she's just, boom crash right into the ground yeah it's been bad so it'll be interesting to see if, if she comes back i doubt it she that she will come back and i wonder if they're going to try and fill her role i, I feel like they're not going to I, I think if she's gone that they're just going to leave her gone i don't think they'll i don't see them bringing anybody back Boy, who i think they should have brought back was will smith's ex-wife what was her name again um Gosh, why am I forgetting her name? I forgot because she's really good friends with her. Cherie, Cherie, yeah. yes, you're right. Cherie, yes, yeah, that's it. Yep, Cherie, that's it. Yep, it is. That's yeah. it. Cherie. I thought I would have she liked was, to see her. Was was great. Great. Yeah. Oh, you yeah, know I what? I'm guessing? Was the pies. Maybe they probably, mm -hmm. you know, I'm probably thinking she's not on this, this episode this season. Probably is Leia Lokes after that whole Will Smith slap thing. Like, oh. <laughs> it, might, it might seem a little far fetched, but it's like she still hasn't recovered from that. Mm, so that I'm makes a lot of sense. I could still. See. That does. I could see that. That makes a lot of sense because they're still real. They're I mean, really close, like, from my understanding. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They are. And I feel like that from, um, I think they're just married young, but because from what I understand is that it's mm -hmm. like, I mean, there are a lot of celebrities who've done way worse and who, you know, mm -hmm. have you. Off with slap on wrist, but it's like it seems like it's still paying for it, you know. And so I'm kind of thinking that I wouldn't right. doubt if maybe that's a part of the reason why we see her because maybe she's kind of laying low she's and not want to be on low. camera right now, or she doesn't want them to talk about it, which I can understand because you know, if woman's gonna bring up the first thing they saw they whenever we see her, you know, and she probably doesn't want this mm -hmm. to be a story. I can see it happening, but it's just a theory. 
Oh, it makes sense. That's a, a great theory. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, any thoughts from you? Theories on that, Amber? Um, on the Anna Marie, um, her husband actually had, the lady had filed something against him in 95 that I guess it was never really taken seriously. Oh, so it wasn't a, something was it a new. Support? Oh, that's right. You know what? You I are think right. She found something with the college. Oh, that's right. Because that's right. It was it, it was on campus, wasn't it? It was when that's whenever they were on, in school. I think you're right. I think she was it was through like the police department on mm -hmm. on campus. I believe so. I'm gonna have to look into that a little bit more. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I think you're right. Yeah, that was just wild. It's been, but but yeah, Beverly Hills. This season's been interesting, and then the whole thing with Garcelle and Dorit. Oh my god, I, I I felt for Garcelle because I could see clearly that Dorit wasn't getting it, and it was just it was, I I think that it it was just one of those things that I was glad to see that that um Erica had a lot of awareness of what was going on, but Dorit was just still like Dorit's in her own bubble. That's the way I see it. Dorit's in her bubble. She's gonna stay in her bubble, but I think it's just for it's for a, a lot of things. But I noticed that she always had just her micro her. her She's her, her microaggressions was just bright as day when it when it all when it came to Garcelle like all the time. But and just even when I showed back at the clips and when she made the comments, so she was like, uh, "My mom's best friend's black," and she's like, "Well, our, basically our, our staff and our or like or of color of <laughs> the staff help at our house." <laughs> and it's like other than that, she was pretty much like, "No, like she didn't have any friends like that were you know <laughs> of color or, or black." And it was just, and it, it was just, it's kind of like my whole thing was that people were saying that no, it is Garcelle's job to um. To teach her. The reason why I said it's not Garcelle's job to teach her is because Garcelle is obviously drained from Dorit. Because even when you see from the past, from like years and years of all that stuff going on and the, the comments that were coming out of Dorit's mouth, it's like you get drained and tired of trying to explain things to someone or explain it over and over again. And yeah. And it's like, she's always been, it's like, Dorit was always, she would bully her a lot. She really did. Like, compared to other women, it's like she would go, yeah. she would go hard for Garcelle. And yeah. It's kind of like, you know, enough's enough. Because I'm not going to sit there and want to teach somebody who's not, you know, willing to open. Did you see the huge difference between whenever Kyle met up with her, with Garcelle, with the whole auction mishap that happened with the, the money that Garcelle yeah. had donated? And at first, Kyle said she didn't uh, do it. Kyle, like, listened and her eyes were open and she was just like, oh my God. She's like, now I realize the impact of it. But it's like, Dorit just refuses. Everything's like a rebuttal, or it's um, or I, I don't know. It's just Dorit is who she is, and it's just it's. Oh my gosh, I, I was just kind the of. We're always talking about people never listening ever. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry. No, no, it's true though. You're you're right. You mm -hmm. you can go on, but yeah, she usually it's kind of. Like, I feel like Dorit reminds me of some, one of those people she likes to, loves loves to hear herself talk. <laughs> and loves yeah, to hear herself yeah. talk over everybody and loves to be right all the yeah. time. And I think that's a lot of that. And it's like there, it's and it's like there's a time and a place for everything, but then also it's kind of like there's certain circumstances where you really need to just sit back and listen. And she does not uh -huh. do that well. Yeah, no, no, not at all. No, oh, you're right. Yeah, she doesn't, not 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 at all. And then now it's like Kyle's saying that that they actually really weren't as close as she was thinking that they were. So I kind of, I did feel for her there though. I, I did feel for her because I can understand where I would be upset too. It's like, if, we're, if you think you're a closer friend to someone then you actually, then they actually see you. I could see how that can sting and that could be hurtful. But Kyle was basically like, we actually really aren't all that close. And I think she said that they've only been on one trip together, according to Kyle, but all the other trips they've been on have been like, group trips with the cast and she's saying that, that yeah. and she's basically saying that that she and, and Dorit really weren't as close as, as they were but I, I think I, I kind of think that um so I do feel for Dorit in that sense that she thought, thought that things were stronger than and she had a stronger bond and, and friendship with Kyle than she thought but I don't know but maybe like but Kyle not drinking and stuff and her sobriety it makes her think, see things and see life a whole a lot differently than she used to so 
very that interesting. It, um, what I was thinking too is that yeah, I remember me. Of it, uh, mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Like, I think my computer's a little behind y'all. <laughs> it reminded me of when. Um, yeah, I know. We're, we're trying to, and, I think it's. it's and, I think it's uh, our connection too on this. I'm end. sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, we're saying it ever. It reminded me of Rachel and Sheena or Raquel. And <laughs> oh yes. Because oh. I remember. I think didn't Raquel true. say that. Uh, the whole thing, like, we weren't really that close, but they really were best friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dan, I think it's what, what upset Sheena even more mm -hmm. so. You're right. Oh, that's so true. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. With oh, Marita, I, kinda, I, I kind of see both sides of it, because I'm right. In one, on one hand, I definitely could see how it can sting when you sting honestly like, think that you are just as, you know, when I think they get really close to somebody. But on the other hand, yeah. I always kind of felt like their friendship, a lot of it was... Uh, Dorit really trying to get in with the cool girl or the cool crowd and kept trying to like make yeah. trying to make you know make be almost like you know I want to stand out to Kyle I want to try to impress her uh you know like I want her to pick me I want her to be like you know it felt very much like that and just kind of wanting to insert herself pick me, pick me. Yeah. yeah and like that's what I kind of and I think that Kyle was the day was kind of like you know no we're not really that close because I think it was Dorit in her mind. She wanted it to be that way and was trying to, but it just didn't land. And Kyle, I think, probably didn't feel like it was really that authentic and just therefore didn't feel that close to her. That's what I'm kind of thinking. Whereas Dorit, she probably had every intention of being close to her, probably thought she was, but it just, it's kind of like that maybe Kyle just didn't really, you know, I think Kyle just probably just wasn't really picking up what she was putting down, if that makes sense. Yeah, that completely makes sense. That uh, that I can see that. It's just, and I think also too. I think the men, but men generally, they just bond to men. Always bond better than women do. I find, and they're always a lot less messy. They're just men. Just aren't really that messy and dramatic. Like they can like get into it like ten minutes later, and then like ten minutes later, a lot of times they'll be like, "Let's let bygones be bygones and just move on." But women. It's always with women. It's always like, I'll forgive, but I'll never forget. Um, and so I, um, mm -hmm. so it could be too. I think that she saw Mauricio. I think she could have seen Mauricio and um, PK's bond. And that they actually seems like they'd have like a pretty good, solid, legitimate friendship because people would often see them together, like oh, even like sure. off camera, like, hanging out and stuff and kicking it. So I, I, so it would make sense to me. I could see why Dorit probably thought that they were closer than, than what they were. But like I said, too, it's like when people become yeah, sober, sense. a lot of times, like, and I don't even think Kyle even had a drinking problem. I think she just felt like alcohol just wasn't serving her anymore because that's what she said. But and she just didn't feel great after drinking. But I think she just didn't, doesn't feel that way. Then I think to having Morgan in her life, I think it's just, she's wanting to just kind of like, I don't know. I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious to see. Like, I'm, I'm waiting for the announcement because I'm not. I refuse to believe anything else. That they're they're, <laughs> they're a couple. They're together in my mind. Change our mind. Oh, yeah, I don't right. think you can change your mind on that one. <laughs> stand on. Stand by it. No, her and Morgan are right. way more compatible than her and Mauricio. <laughs> At this point, Why? oh yeah. Oh my gosh, and it, it's like they make sense. It's just it. Well, like even just watching their chemistry, like whatever she went and got the tattoos and stuff, and I'm like, that is not, that is not just a friendship. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, no. that, I'm like, that, the way she was acting mm -hmm. is how I would act when I was around like a dude that I was dating or that I was like into. I'm like, that's, I was like, that is not, um, yeah, that is not just a, a close friendship. Or maybe I mean, but then again too, I also have to look at the fact that her mm -hmm. lifelong best friend committed suicide. And maybe that could have yeah. had, a, a, obviously that had a major impact on her, but maybe it could have had an impact on her like no other, you know, because everybody grieves differently and him. handles things differently. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. that just occurred to me. I never really even thought about that till just now. So maybe that could be it. Maybe that's, there's just so many things. So many, so yeah, many it's really that close to you in such an astronomical way. It shatters your whole world in the way you view things and the way you feel and so you could very well be right. Yeah, very well. Very well could be. 
Amber, have you heard any other things, like any rumblings or anything about like their marriage or um, about Kyle and uh, Morgan? Actually, I'm hoping that they actually are together because I'm like, I just want to know more about it. Like, how? <laughs> really do, I mean, we already know how they melt. I'm just, yeah, more details. <laughs> I think Cal would definitely be happier with Morgan than she has been with Mauricio. I can see that. Me too. And I thought it was I interesting. Agree. It, um, I think I'm running behind like one again. Thing, yeah. Oh, yeah okay. but, um, my thing I found interesting about it too is, is uh, her relationship with Kathy, how all of a sudden they're like on a men yes. and they're close again. Because oh, Kathy yeah, never... Very she close like, yeah, she didn't like Mauricio. Uh -huh. And I noticed how happy she like is around you know Kyle all of a sudden now and how they're together and stuff mm -hmm. like that. There's it's kind of like, I think it's almost like it's like better you than Mauricio, you know? Like, it, like I think she's like, that's was Morgan so yeah I think that um, and that makes sense it's probably oh, why she's thing. like warmed up to her and seems to like her so much but but also Morgan seems very likable she does yeah more than I thought she would have been yeah yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah I like her personality a lot more than I than than I thought I would so yeah yeah that makes it, it's that, that's interesting so it'll be interesting to see but like I said like I, I just seeing her and Mauricio together right now it's just it honestly it, it kind of turns my stomach in, like into knots I just, it yeah. makes me uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. It makes me really uncomfortable because it's it's just that connection, all that's just not there, and and I just I feel like they just need to go it's like their separate ways. Too hard like, to right? be together. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's like, do you think? Do you think they did that like all these years to put up over front, or do you think they like actually just are really drifting apart? What are y'all thoughts? I think they're actually drifting apart and that they're just trying to. I don't like, think it was a front the whole time. I don't think it was a front. I don't either. I think, but I yeah. think it's just that, I think just the way things have been as of late, just, you know, they just grew apart, you know. And... Yeah, it's just so wild. I it's think like, maybe it's... her and her uh, friend were really close. Yeah, they were passing away and made her really not that close to Mauricio as she had thought. I can see that happening. Mm -hmm. And then she felt and more I feel like that she, yeah. 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 And I think that she said to Laureen that um I don't even I think she said that she'd even see it coming. Because some people oh, can't. Yeah, she, really she well was completely it. Yeah, she was completely shocked. She was she said like didn't have any kind of clue, idea, like nothing. She didn't show any signs. So that's why she was completely blindsided and i do remember she said the last thing like one of the last things that she told her was that she wanted her to work on her marriage like to Mauricio, like marriage, she said she yeah. didn't want her to like mm. yeah and i'm like oh man it's just like it's sad it's like at the point it's like what do you do it's like do you like yeah. try to honor like your your dead friend's wishes or do you do what you need to do that makes you happy and honestly i think she needs to do what makes her happy but i right. um but to me, that was the, the telltale sign. It was like whenever Mauricio wasn't even there at that um at that um event, it was like kind of like a was was it a fundraiser? Like like it was like a fundraiser, mm -hmm. a memorial, or or whatever it was, like for like in her it friend's uh, memory. Memorial. And he didn't go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that, yeah. Memorial could, um, remembrance of uh, celebration of life. Yeah, but he didn't even he didn't say he didn't go. He was in Mexico, but he was there for the the gala. The, yeah. The, oh gosh, the home the home was the home was not toothless. Was not toothless. No, that is, huh? Is that home was not toothless? Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Home was not toothless. Yeah. Like, toothless. Yeah. <laughs> comes up with a, oh my gosh, it's like why can't you have like an organization or like. Mm -hmm. a, a charity that like helps homeless people get on their feet and like get the it's proper like, care like, it's like can't get them care. too much dignity <laughs> <laughs> just split from listening to reality bites podcast they were talking about it it's it was the whole thing was it's like they brought up a good point it was i think it was it was either lauren or ep that had said it on reality bites on that podcast and y'all could take a listen to that i, I love them the, they're pretty awesome but they it's like they're like LA's hard to live in to begin with. It's super expensive, but it's like 
so you're gonna have a bunch of homeless people running around with like gorgeous smiles and great smiles and girls, but you're not gonna help them get, <laughs> like try to get on their feet and get on like when it's but the, the sad thing is it seems like it's such the LA thing to do. It, it does it's kind of like yeah. it's like we don't have a house, house but uh, we can have you somewhere. <laughs> it's like we can have you look like um they said we want you to live in a house, but we can have you looking like Mr. Ed like the rest of us. Yeah. What is that place? Oh my they god! They look like uh, Skid Row. Could you imagine? <laughs> they all have like gorgeous teeth on Skid Row. Right, exactly. It, it, well, that's the whole thing, Amber. That's that's th those are my thoughts. Like just when I was hearing about that whole thing, and I was like, what in the world? It's like that's that's exactly what I was thinking. It's like you're gonna walk around and see all these people with these beautiful, blinged out, nice um, Re uh, veneers in their mouths, you know, whatever it is. But they're homeless, and it's just—it's kind of like it's just. I feel like something's missing. There's just, there's a total disconnect with that. Who even who started that foundation or or charity? I don't I don't even know who started like foundation. Oh god! Oh my gosh! Oh jeez! It's like the now the more I'm like really thinking about it. It's just it's just it's one of those. It's it's the oh 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 lord! Oh my gosh! Oh goodness, that that's that that is interesting. So, are we? When is um, when is the season finale? I think we got a few more episodes before that comes. I think. Am so. I right? Oh, yes. I think Beverly Hills. Because I think we're just in the middle of it. I think. Is they it's not even going to Portugal? You know, yet. It was episode. 12. Oh, that's right. Not Portugal. Yeah. Oh. So they still. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, they still have a little ways to go. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Like, there can't be many episodes that they usually have, but I think they usually have what close to twenty of them, don't they? I think so. I think they might have like eighteen, I think, or something like that. Yeah, I think I think you're right. So you're right. They haven't even yeah, taken that trip yet. Usually, you like, notice I'm, I'm getting confused. Yeah, I think so. I think you're right. I think so. I, I believe so. You notice I think I'm getting it mixed up with because uh, Miami's about to have their reunion. I think that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking about. Yeah, and I, I haven't even caught up on the most recent episode of Miami yet, but oh lord, Larsa, Larsa Pippen, that is somebody I was trying, I was rooting for her. I was really rooting for her, but <laughs> she is not doing herself any favors at all. And it's just, and poor Gertie, like, I mean, like, Gertie's going through a lot it's, uh, and dealing with this whole cancer battle. But, I mean, she's a fighter. She really is. But, I mean, but, but for Larsa to be so shallow and just so just, I mean, oh, my gosh. But I didn't even realize how different she looks in, from years ago than how she looks now. I didn't realize how much plastic surgery she had and work she had really gotten done. Now I'm not a hater of it because I... I'm for one. I'm like, you know what? God put these people on earth for a reason. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> and if plastic surgeons is who they become to help people look and, and do whatever they want to do themselves, then so be it. Now, do some people take it a bit too far? Yes, I agree. I think so. <laughs> However, she doesn't look anything like she's <laughs> and it's she's a, she looks like a whole can't hear you yeah i could it's like you're muted uh, uh oh yeah oh, okay i don't know how that happened, but yeah <laughs> i just i like a little because <laughs> i was muted but um but oh that's what i was thinking yeah. so it's like larsa looks totally different from um she looks so different from, from how she used to look. So I don't know if this is, has always been her personality or if, um, what's her name? I keep forgetting her name. The how the one she's not, a, she's a friend of, is it Adri Is it Adriana? That's a friend yeah. of, um, mm -hmm. and she's always, she always tells, she's like, ever since you were about a Kardashians and you have got with the Kardashians, you've never been the same. So I don't know if that's like rubbed off on her or <laughs> what, or if the fix, I have no idea, but it's just it just it's it disappoints me. But I mean, but I mean, look what she did. She pulled Michael Jordan's son. She Scotty Michael Jordan's son. 
And it's it's just it's it's, it's it's crazy. It's wild. But I mean, they seem to be in love and seem to be happy. Um, it's just I I just wish that she could be better than what she has been. So that's been a bit disappointing. But oh, good lord! But Bravo has been great Have lately, though. <laughs> Oh, I did. I started watching Traders. Yeah, I, and I, I'm actually. I didn't see it last season. Oh, that's funny. But this season, I'm watching it, and I'm actually really liking it. Blair, Blair's watching it too. It's been really. I just started, started watching it. Uh, I think I was about to watch episode three, but I've been enjoying it. Yeah, it's it's good. I like it. It's, I like the people they have. Good. I think have to have on there. It's, it's entertaining. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I heard and, about like um, the ranking the. It's. Okay. I heard the ratings had gone up like 75% from like compared to last season from when it had originally aired. So it looks like it's something that's, that's catching on. So is it only on Peacock or is it on Bravo too? I think it's just on Peacock. I don't know. It I might be. So. It's probably just on Peacock. Yeah, I think it is. I think so. But I do like that they brought Real Housewives of Miami back to Bravo though also. I do like that they did that because yeah, they, they saw that the... um. The reboot had just gotten um did so great on Peacock. I'm surprised that they even got rid of um of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, stuff Beverly Hills of Miami to begin with. Oh, I'm surprised that they it, they did away yeah. with it when they did. I guess it, the ratings weren't that great. Is that what it was? I think so at the time. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I could see that, but it's been good. But I, what I love about it is the fact that no matter how much fighting and bickering that these women may go through, when somebody is going through it, they have, they're really great about all coming together to support each other. Except for Larsa, it's <laughs> minus Larsa. They're all good about you know just like really coming together and banding, banding together. And so it's um. So that that's that's the thing I like about them a lot, especially like whenever Lisa went through her whole um, thing with uh, Lenny asking her for a divorce and finding out that he'd been seeing somebody else like the whole time, and then the hot mic, hot mic Lenny that was, that was wild. Part of me <laughs> thinks I'm like I think that yeah. I think he did that on purpose. I think I think Lenny did that. I think he was very calculated with it. And I think he did it on purpose and he knew that he didn't care that he had that mic on him. And I think he was taking advantage of that. That's that's my theory. Don't mm. know about y'all. That's what I think. That's my theory and I'm sticking yeah. to it. I wouldn't doubt it. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely I so. Really oh, any more news, y'all? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you've like, it's, it's, I mean, it, it's, I've, um, it's good. It's, I don't think it's as good, it's as good as it was last season. Gertie's uh, storyline, though, it's great. It's just, it's just yeah. so sad, though. But you yeah. see, like, she's got such a strong family oh, and no. she's got a great husband. Like, Russell's awesome. He's an yeah. awesome, awesome guy. Very stand up dude. And, like, he's, I mean, they've been together since high school. And, um, yeah. I feel for her and her family. So I'm, I'm hoping and praying for the best for them because it's, that is not a tough road. And her family's been through a lot. Like, you know, she lost her brother and her nieces. Like, it was like an earthquake years ago. And yeah. so, um, just so much, you know, but she overcomes and everything. Any more news topics? Anything floating around? Anybody coming your way? I don't think we've about covered it as far as I'm, um, <laughs> I think as far as I, I can remember or think of right now. Yeah, what about you, Amber? I know Anything Gypsy else? Rose was getting a lot of backlash from um, That's her right. ex-boyfriend's fans. Yeah, so what is, so, um, I wonder oh, if, um, oh, it did freeze for a second? Okay, you're yeah, probably so. Yeah, no, I think, I think, I wonder if it's, I wonder if it's this weather that's with, that's been with this, the connections lately. I think that's what it is. I think it's this cold weather. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of making the internet and everything a little late <laughs> and, and behind. But um I um I wonder if to me John go to John not John go to John. What's his, it's his last name is go to John, but I keep forgetting his first name. I don't remember his but name, um yeah. is it Matthew? Maybe his first name is Matthew. I can't I remember, like but him. however it is, it's 
I can't remember. I always forget his, his first name, but I feel like I didn't realize that he was one. autistic. Yeah, he's he's autistic. So I, I didn't realize yeah. that. That's yeah, I think me that neither. Plays a big, yeah, a big yeah, role in it. Also, it's, it. yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's like I'm curious. I'm curious to see what things are going to look like. But I don't know. I, I have a I have a feeling. It's either going to go, but that's how life is. It's either going to go one way or the other. I'm, I'm curious to see how things end up with with uh, with Gypsy. If um, my thoughts are that she's going to become a little bit more famous out of this. Um, she's probably going to try, somebody somewhere is going to give her a platform, I think. And I give it about a few years, a couple of years, and I think that she's probably going to leave her husband. Because I think she's going to realize that he's controlling. Because if you notice and observe, like he's he, he's very controlling, and he's probably like that. It, probably because and then I mean look look at how he found her. He he, he wrote her as a pen pal like to prison. So he strikes yeah. me as someone who probably hasn't dated much, and who um and uh people probably would just kind of like. Uh, treated him like a bit as an outcast. I could see that, but whenever she's like on Nick Vile's uh, podcast, I just noticed how it's like he would cut her off, or like he would jump in to like speak or, to speak for her. And he was he's done that on a few interviews I've seen, um, mm -hmm. or like a few like little news segments and everything I've seen him on. But it's um, it'll be interesting. I have a feeling that she's probably going to end up doing her own little glow up, if anything, and then just and like. And just be like, you know, bye bye. You're too much for me. You're too controlling. And like, give it about maybe like about two years, and then move on. That's my guess. But I don't know. I but I'm that. glad she's with her her dad. You know, and her dad seems to like her dad and her stepmom and her half sister just seem to be so different. But but yeah, I'm glad you brought up Gypsy Rose because that was um that that'll be interesting, interesting to, to follow and see how how that plays out and where where things go. But So that is yeah, very, I seen that she wanted to have kids. Very so I was thinking, like, what if she had a child and then something was wrong with it, and everybody oh, like started questioning her? <laughs> that would oh, be terrible. I didn't think about that at all. Oh, to see like if that much housed them by proxy if it passes on. That oh, is a yeah. very good mm -hmm. thought. I didn't think about that at all. Ooh, that's good. That's really great, Amber. Oh, you've got me really thinking now. That's interesting. <laughs> or if like something actually is wrong. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think. I mean, God forbid something do, actually be right. wrong. Right. Oh, exactly. But if. Yeah, I would hope. Like, so supposedly the good thing is she's like getting therapy. I'm glad about that. Because at first I was hearing that some relatives of hers were concerned mm -hmm. that she. Um, wasn't getting therapy and that she didn't want it, but it looks like she's actually actively getting therapy still and she has been getting it, which is great because I think that for all that stuff that she's gone through and experienced that she does need it um, in order to have some type of rehabilitation. But um, nope, that that's that that makes me very curious. I would hope and I, I would think that um, with her being surrounded by the right people, that if she does have kids, that I I have a, I think that I don't think she would do what her mom did. I would hope not. I would hope not, but that's a very interesting thought. Right. I never thought I didn't think about that, but that, that that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Oh boy. But on that note, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. And we're so happy to have you. We're we can not wait to have yeah, you again. Yes, It'll be so fun. much fun. Get some and some more pop culture and and we actually, everybody, we are going to do another recap episode. Well, not another recap episode. We're going to do um, an episode for, of course, we'll be recapping Vanderpump Rules. It's about to come back. And yeah. we're going to um, recap that premiere when it comes out, um, when it airs. So super excited for that. And yeah, just um, we're on Spotify, Apple. Um, also, I'll tag um, Gossip Class. I'll tag Amber's. Uh, stuff put up her links for her Instagram and her TikTok and of course YouTube and go please like follow subscribe to her pages everything she's got is like so much fun we're excited so happy to have her on have her on for our first collab together yeah, thank and you for coming. can't wait looking forward to thank the future you. yeah so thank all right y'all enjoy have a great
stay in. Yes, and we'll see y'all soon. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.